Welcome everyone to I Had No Idea. In today's episode, we're highlighting relocation, hash rounds, and DPM. This is Charioteer on Studjanki. Let's go. Charioteer, low amount of hit points, high mobility, no armor, but great ammunition choices. So the, what you see me do here is, regardless of the map, because this is the last patch to Janky, it's recently been changed, but the gameplay doesn't really change for Tank Destroyer like this. So what you always need to have into in, in, in consideration in your mind is, where do you want to be early in the game to do some damage and look at the minimap and see how the situation uh, evolves. So I have my premium, he premium hash round loaded for the Burrask. Unfortunately, this tank is not really accurate unless it's fully aimed. So there's no snapshots with this gun. Many people uh, think this tank is bad because of it, but this is just not the case. It's a strong vehicle that has this potential of being everywhere it needs to be. And you're going to see this a lot in this battle because we are going to keep moving and we're going to keep using the gun. I get spotted here. That was a little unnecessary from, from my end because uh, I'm no longer a surprise. Uh, in a tank destroyer like this, you always want to be the unknown factor. You don't want enemies to know where you are. Uh, beautiful low roll uh, from the hash round, 377 damage, but the damage adds up, so don't be, um, don't feel let down when you have those low rolls because just a couple of seconds later you have another shot and this tank shines, I mean really shines. The DPM of this vehicle, I'll put it above, I'll put it above me, but what you'll notice is that it does, really delivers uh, on this end. Uh, artillery warning, always a good skill to have uh, on a squishy vehicle like this. Uh, if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. It's not game changing. It's just a little useful. It's not gonna make or break the game for you. Uh, but back on the game. What you see me do here is I look at the minimap and I know that our team does not have the south. Always watch the minimap when you play tank destroyers because you need to be in the positions early on. This tank, nice, 487. This is why those hash rounds are expensive but worth using. In tank destroyers, you always have to be relocated before the situation envelops. Before things happen, you have to be ready early on. So what you'll see me do here is I look down south, I see how many tanks we have and where they sit. Currently we have ISU and Lava, Lava no more. ISU holding the line for the entire enemy advance. This is not going to work well for the ISU and this is something that we have to keep in mind. Beautiful high roll, 523 on the Škoda T56. As I said, those hash rounds are pretty much the reason why I love this tank so much. The DPM is crazy. I spent a lot of credits on this uh, shot, but as I shoot the roof of the building, it destroyed the entire building because hash is a high explosive shell. So if you hit the, uh, the roof of the building with a high explosive shell, uh, the majority of the building is going to get destroyed. Uh, so don't shoot the walls, shoot the roof of the houses. Uh, but as I see uh, that the flank is falling, I am already relocating, but I'm not really re relocating to go behind um, artillery. No, I'm going to be the spotter in this scenario because I think I can see the advance and maybe support my team because right now it's six to one. 4,000 hit points difference, six to one. This is not looking great, right? But wait and see, do you think we can? Pause the video if you want to comment down below. Do you think we can turn this around? You're going to uh, have to wait to see the, what the actual uh, outcome of this, this battle is going to be. But I'm rambling about and I use my mobility to get into a position. I am going to position myself so I can see the enemies advance, but I always leave a little bit open um, exit for myself. So I make sure that wherever I go, I always have a way of going getting back from where i am so this is uh, a secure approach really so i spot the skoda i fall back behind foliage so when i fire i shouldn't get spotted unless there is a lightning next to me but 508 and a killing shot uh, from the udes and a very dangerous opponent is out of the game it's still three to seven uh, so we are losing this quite uh, massively i destroyed the is3 uh, with a lucky penetration there and we're down to eight, we're using APCR now, but this, I stopped because it was such an important shot. 
I pretty much risked my life by stopping. There could have been so many tanks. They could have been BZ-176 just removing me from the game. I didn't care at this point because I needed this light tank out of my game. He was the only enemy tank on this advance that could have spotted me through the bushes before I spot him. So, with the light tank gone, we are feeling a little bit more secure here. It's still 5 to 8, but I have this feeling that maybe this is not quite lost yet. Let's wait if it is or if it isn't. Uh, so far, uh, what's my score? I'm actually not seeing it here. 2100 damage. Nothing spectacular, right? But this tank doesn't care about how much damage you do early on, because with this beautiful, fast and accurate and really highly uh, damaging vehicle, you can do more than 2000 pretty much in every game. Uh, funny fact, I have pretty much the same damage per game in this vehicle as I do in the Conway Tier 9. So I don't know, either I'm playing very well with uh, the, the Charioteer or very bad with Conway, but considering the fact that uh, I think currently uh, in the last 60 battles I am in top 10 in Conway, this is not the case, Charioteer is just that strong. So, still, 2000 damage, 3 kills, nothing spectacular, we're losing by 4000 damage. A little greedy here, I switched to Hesh instead of firing, but I do my old trick by aiming in front of the vehicle and then clicking, uh, helps my accuracy. And we are about to eliminate the T28 prototype, so... Unlucky there, uh, but as I said, this tank uh, is not very accurate when you move the mouse, so you have to make sure that you keep your gun pointed straight and then click. This is the only choice, and this is pretty much farming simulator now. The enemies got bored and greedy, because the BZ uh, with the 5060p cannot really advance, so I focus on the Renegade, because Renegade is a more powerful vehicle, so I had a choice to shoot either of them, FV or the Renegade, I decided to shoot the more dangerous tank, always do that, it's important. Uh, a bad shot on the FV, uh, because I am impatient and stressed, because I can see that this is potentially a, a victory here. 10 to 11, uh, if we manage to, or they manage to eliminate the FV, and they do, it's 11 to 11. All of a sudden, winnable. Uh, we are losing by 4000 hit points, 12 to 11. The score is now on our uh, advantage, so hey, how did that happen, right? Just a, a lonely tank destroyer in a lonely position because I, instead of falling back and sitting on the ridge line and you know giving two last final shots, I decided to take my tank uh, forward and be in the game, be aggressive, be brave. Sometimes you got some camo; it's not great, but enough for uh, heavy tanks. So heavy tanks didn't spot me. Light tank did, but we managed to uh, take him out because he was surprised to see me there. Uh, he drove in between the bushes. Uh, I guess a tip to a light tank, if you're approaching this position, you make sure you are always inside of the bush line. Uh, there's no way I'd be able to spot an LT432 in the bush. That, that would just never happen. So, hey, I guess uh, their light tank's mistake is uh, helping me to win the game. Uh, but it's been a while since we saw the BZ and the 5060p. And where are they? I think they have fallen back. And honestly, good choice. What else they could have done? They have noticed Skoda T56 pushed in, died. They've noticed light tank push in, die. They simply knew that they cannot go in. Artillery gets removed from the game and now it's four versus two. Uh, still two strong opponents, but I think we've got this in the bag. It's just a matter of how much more we can get out of this uh, battle. So I'm going to use the mobility to fully relocate and uh, finish the game off. And as we are waiting for, the, for this to happen, tell me what do you think about the uh, Tech 3 tanks? Especially tanks like this. When you think about other tier 8 tank destroyers, Scorpion most uh, more often than not, uh, it really seemed to pale in comparison, but consider this. Anyone can have a chariot here. It's free, it only takes time to get. And to be honest, it's a tank that is fun. Uh, it's a tank that can carry. And at the same time, it's a tank that does not cost you any money. So why don't we stop comparing uh, Tech 3 tanks to premium vehicles and just compare them to 
how they uh, work in the game overall. I personally uh, like my Tech 3 tanks. Uh, I'd rather play a Tech 3 tank rather than the uh, premium tank. It just you know, feels better, if you know what I mean. So a little uh, Im impatience here, but I do the old trick uh, of the bushes. So I drive forward, try to see if I can see him. Uh, I'm not sure about those bushes without leaves. They always make me nervous. So I choose the, tr uh, the proper bush, drive forward, spot the heavy tank, fall back a little. There's a shed in front of me, so I have to uh, lean to the side. I can't quite pen that, but maybe he's going to give me a side. Ah, it unfortunately he didn't. See, the drown, uh, drawback of uh, the charioteer is because the premium ammunition, ma premium ammunition is hash, uh, you don't get those high penetration rounds um, as premium, but even the standard ammunition works. It's really, if you want to play it with just the standard ammunition, it still works very well because it has good penetration, high shell velocity. Uh, the tank's really easy to use. The only thing you have to keep in mind is to try and be fully aimed as often as possible, because as you saw in many, many occasions, if you're not fully aimed, the shell is not going in. And uh, if you just accept this fact, trust me, you are going to be one happy charioteer player. Uh, I personally really, really like this tank. Uh, I don't know, challenge yourself. Maybe if you're thinking about an easy and fun three mark to do, charioteer is definitely one of the tanks to consider. Good platform, mobility, accuracy, penetration, massive uh, hash uh, damage. It has it all. And considering the fact how many shells we have missed, we are sitting at almost 5,000 damage in a tier 8 tank. And, you know, of course, I highlight the best battles on YouTube, but consider this. This is not that unusual for Charioteer. You can have those results very often. 5,000 damage in a Charioteer is not a 1 in 100 games. If, if in a skilled hands, this vehicle can deliver 5k game pretty much 1 in 10 or 15 games, it's really, really that strong. And as I was rambling, 5.5 thousand damage. Let's go to the garage so I can tell you some more about it. Unfortunately, Wargaming breaks the replays every time they release a patch, so we'll have to look at the website. But this is the Ace Tanker in the Chariot here that you have just watched. Uh, surprisingly, we did have a blind shot, so 6.3 thousand damage instead of the 5,500 I thought. Massive, massive uh, experience for the tank. But this is not unusual. Just keep in mind that if you decide to shoot Hash, it's going to cost you quite a lot. But if you want to have fun, it's perfectly fine to play this tank with just standard ammunition and this is just this relaxed gameplay if you want to play world of tanks just have a good time charioteer is one of those tanks really you can take it you can load it up with standard equipment standard standard ammunition and you can have a good time so i highly recommend you try it out it costs nothing after all uh, just credits and credits are made by playing the game so why don't you try it? Let me know uh, what do you think about uh, Charioteer itself. Uh, and let's try to separate Tech Tree from uh, Premium. I know the situation in World of Tanks is uh, far from perfect and fully aware of that. Uh, but let's try to keep it positive, right? Tech Tree Tanks can be good and this is a proof. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see some more, check out one of these two. And if you're waiting for fresh content, stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Thank you.